All right, guys, let's check out a pretty special Omega Seamaster 300. Big thanks to Tyler and Johnny and everybody, the entire crew, Nick, everybody at Exquisite Time Pieces, Naples, Florida. Link in the description. I'll put direct contact information so you can reach out to Tyler. Tell him I sent you. He'll give you his direct line. So hopefully, I know everyone's busy down there, but whatever. Everyone's busy. Just try to get through. If you can't get through to him, you know, let me know or reach out on their website. Actually, if you go to their website, it automatically pops up with this like little chat thing. That's a real person. Definitely during business hours. You can chat with them and then you can just talk to that person and uh, work a relationship there too. But Exquisite Time Pieces, Naples, Florida. I'm going to be going there soon. Um, their facility is awesome. So if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Tell them I sent you and then, um, or order online or call them up. But they're authorized dealer for 60 brands plus massive pre-owned selection. This is on their brand new side for the um, Omega lineup. They're authorized dealer for Omega. This, of course, is the Heritage Seamaster 300 9 carat. I don't know what they're calling it, but it's it's like a gold bronze. And I, I had a difficult time. I, I did some tweaks to the settings on the camera, hopefully to capture the tone correctly. And I think I think I have it. But the, the material on this is wild. It's like 37.5% gold. And then it's mixed with palladium and silver to get um, a hue that's right in between their gold and their um, Sedna gold, right in that range. It's like right in between them. Um, plus it also has like some very good anti-corrosion type properties. So I measure this watch. We'll get into the measurements now because I rambled enough about other stuff. This thing is a kind of a glare monster for some reason. I don't know why. It just is. So you might see me and other things in the reflection. The case, 39 and a half millimeter, but if you look at the bezel, it sits a little wide of the case. So the, the bezel is basically 40 and a half is what I measured. Is that what I measured? Let me double check that. 41, excuse me. So the case is 39 and a half, the bezel's 41. I knew that sounded weird. Good thing I double checked it. The lug to lug is a 48 millimeter. You, of course, you have the signed screw down crown. The thickness is 14.8 millimeter. You can see that uh, sapphire crystal sticking up a little bit and you have a ceramic bezel insert there. Kind of warm tones, a little bit brownish tone within there. It's not just a straight black. The signed screw down crown is 6.4 millimeter and then you have a 21 millimeter lug width. This one comes on this really nice leather strap. All of the Omega straps and bracelets and everything are going to be top tier, just like their watches. No shocker there, right? And it should. It's a luxury watch. I mean, this is like 13 grand or something like that. It's right in that range. So, yeah, it better be spot on, right? The dial is actually made from bronze. So, let's zoom in a little bit more. Excuse any reflections or little specks. I've been trying to keep it clean but for some reason this thing's just like a magnet for that stuff but the dial is uh what do you call it a sandwich dial or you know has cutouts there with a loom underneath it both at, at the cardinal positions the 12 3 th 12 3 6 and 9 as well as all those triangles so you get plenty of loom and you have that classic omega hand hand set there those are coated and uh, polished as well just a beautiful super legible watch beyond the reflection. See? See what I mean? There's reflections on this thing for some reason. Now, a natural light, it might not be as bad. But really nice finishing on the case. And then, of course, the movement, which is one of the highlights of this beyond the fact that it's already an Omega and it's gold. And i got to zoom out a little bit. How do I zoom back out? Let me do that. Okay, here we go. So the movement is the 89.12, and it has a quick... Um, or it has a quick adjust like our hand. I'll show you that in a second. So like if you're traveling, it'll jump forward and backward without upsetting the time. So it's perfect for travel with that with that part of it. The uh, the movement in this 8912 COSC Metis, all that good stuff. 38 joules, twin barrel, um, a massive power reserve. Uh, all of those details will be in the link in the description below. 300 meter water resist, of course, with a nice display case back. Hmm. So display case backs do not necessarily reduce the water resistance, do they? Okay. Back top side, we have a 120-click bezel. Very nice. 
clean, crisp, just as you would expect from a luxury brand. Now let's take a quick look at what I was talking about on that time setting. So we unscrew the crown. That's where you would wind it, okay? First position, second hand still moves. Now you can just quick adjust the hour hand. And if this had a date, then that's also how you would adjust the date, but there's no date on this. So we don't need to worry about that. And then you go ahead and screw that back in. There you go. This is also anti-magnetic, like 15,000 gauss. So you're not gonna magnetize it. You don't have to worry about that. Let's pop it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist and then we'll close out with a loom shot. Again, I have to mention big thanks to the crew at Exquisite Timepieces. If you're gonna buy a luxury watch, just go there. Don't fool around. Just go to go to Exquisite Timepieces, authorized dealer for whatever brand they have, and just I, I've been preaching to this channel, everybody in this, that anybody that will listen to me, if you're buying a new watch, and I really do prefer new watches, but even if you're buying pre-owned, go to a reputable dealer. And that's exactly what um, Exquisite offers. They offer service after the sale. They offer uh, the reputation and the authenticity of the product. So there's no risk, guys. Just just do it in the first place and you won't have any regret. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's give this a quick blast with the UV light. Let's turn off the studio lights. These sandwich dials from Omega glow really good, in case you didn't know. And they're a two-tone application, too. You can see a little bit different there with the pip and the minute hand, which are the two most important things on a dive watch, is that minute hand relationship to that pip, because that's your timing. So that's why they match in color. Very cool, very cool. And you don't have to spring the whole like 13 grand and get this gold one. I think it's a cool one, but you can get the stainless steel ones for uh, quite a bit less money. But, you know, you can get into a gold watch essentially. It's a lower grade gold or whatever, less quantity, but it's still a gold watch for much less than a full like 18 karat gold watch. So you can still have that gold watch and still stay within your budget with this guy right here.